Minella is a very special little girl. Um, she's the greatest gift I have ever had in my whole life. She is like a little present that you see a present all wrapped up, and you don't know what's inside it until you open it up. Janella, to me, is a very patient, loving, happy little girl who is just like a, a flower ready to bloom if you give her the chance. Are you ready for your next story, Janella? Janella has taught us a lot. Um, we felt very inadequate at first, and, and we ended up taking a crash course real fast on how to be a parent. So we ourselves had to learn a lot in a really short amount of time. And that's what I appreciate about the, the therapist and the in-home services, is that we were able to exchange ideas and, and, and be able to build and be able to um, create an environment where we can all learn together One of the most rewarding things about my job is being able to work with children and their families in their everyday settings and to help families support their children actively participate in their everyday routines and activities. Hi, Luann. Hi, Corrine. Come on in. Thank you. Corrine, how's everything been going? Well, we've had a pretty good week. We went to go see the doctors this week, and mm -hmm. they were really happy to see how well she's doing and how she's progressing, and, oh, good. and how she's gotten big and heavier, and so they're really happy about that, the progress. Oh, great. We've been working with the switch that you brought okay. last week. The only thing I noticed is that with the two separate ones like that, mm -hmm. it's kind of awkward for her to reach out for them. Okay. But other than that, it seems to be working for her. Okay, so the having one here and one here is, is a problem. Mm -hmm. All right, do you think that we could take a look at Janella with the switches today? Yeah, she's just waking up from her nap, so this would be a perfect time. Okay, okay. good. Janella, hi. hi. How are you? Me? Like Elmo, he's so Elmo fun. Elmo said hi. Hi. <laughs> hi, Janella. Good girl. Hi. Are you ready to get up? Are you ready to get up and play? Huh? Yes. Oh, she's reaching out for Are you, you now? Are you ready? Yeah. Yes, she Good. Is. Uh -huh. There we go, Janella. There. Hi, Janella. Okay. Corrine, I think this would be a really good thing for me to videotape for the team to okay. see how Janelle is using the switches sure. so that we can get some input from the team as well right. on ideas. Yeah. Okay? Great. Great. Janelle, which one? Which one do you want? Oh, we have got the camera. Oh, which one? Do you want the book? Here's the ball. <laughs> here's the ball. Oh, here's the book. This is the one that Gaga reads to you every day, huh? What I'd really like to do is take the videotape back to the team and see what other ideas they can come up with. All right, that sounds good. Okay. Okay. Janelle's parents chose to have one primary interventionist work with them because they felt that the continuity of one person rather than different people coming into their home and working with them and Janella would help to facilitate a more trusting relationship with Janella and with them. One key member was able to get to know Janella on one on one basis and know everything about her just about um, and was able to bring that back to the team, get some good ideas, and then come back and give us those ideas so that we can incorporate that and apply it in our life as a family. As that primary person working with the family, I have the benefit of being part of a team with uh, several team members who have expertise in different areas. So I am able to go to the team and generate some ideas with them on how to best support the family. 
Yeah, I went to see Janella the other day, and we've been working on making sw choices with her, using two switches for making choices. And Corrine, her mother, um, feels that it's a little bit awkward for her to have one switch here and one switch here. And I see her point, so I wanted to show you the videotape today and see what kind of ideas you guys could come up with. Corrine made these pictures, okay, so cool. we're using the ones that she made. This, a, a round ball, and this is actually a little book that she made out of construction paper. Oh, that's really nice. And see what I did here was I switched the position of the switches to see if she was reaching for the one on this side or if she would go for the other switch. Since you're using two different switches, does it matter? Or does she do better with one switch than the other switch? I haven't really noticed a difference in seeing here if she was then reaching for the book, making the choice for the book. Luann, what if we use the rocker switch? Uh, we have some available in our cabinets, and you would still have two choices, but the switches are still quite large, but the proximity would be a lot closer for her. You know, I, I disagree. I really like the way it is right now. She's able to um, really start to work on swiping, which is a beginning reach for her, and she's using her eyes and getting her hands in the right place. Um, and from a developmental standpoint, it's, it's such a nice piece for her to develop her fine motor skills and her reaching skills. But Trudy, I think it would be easier if the family only had one system to carry around to other parts of the house and maybe outside versus carrying the two switches. It sounds like that's the biggest concern that they have right now and it's not really that easy for them. My only concern about the rocker switch, Renee, is that the switches are going to be so close together that when she does swipe, she might um, accidentally hit one or the other and it won't give her that feedback. I still think that if she has more practice with it the way it is, she may have better success later, having her reach be closer. I, I think that it, this is that's such nice practice for her. I hate to change that. Well, Trudy, I think that you make a really valid point that it is important for her to be working on extending her reach and crossing midline. But what we have to remember right now is what Janella's family wants to work on is for her to have success in making choices for play. You're right. Right now, we really should focus on the family's goal. Um, and there'll be times later where we can work more on her refinement of reach. And if what they want to work on is choice for play skills, that's really where we should be going to. Okay. What ideas do you have? The team input is invaluable in working with Janelle and her family. The team process, however, does not always go as smoothly as we would like. But we do trust each other enough to disagree respectfully. In today's meeting, I really started to get stuck in my disciplinary box of, of what I thought the child needed from an OT perspective. Um, and it's, although it can be frustrating because you need to let go of your roles and what you think is best, it's also really um, enlightening to be able to look at where other people are coming from and to really focus on what the family and the child wants and needs out of the intervention that is taking place. Well, we had our team meeting. Uh -huh. And the team came up with an idea that I think is going to work really well. And this is it. This is called a rocker switch. And basically what it does is it works the same way as two switches, but it's on one unit. Ooh, that's neat. And What's it's that? really easy to program. Oh, and let's see if this is easier for her. All right. Which one is? Look at that. Isn't that neat? What is that? Which one do you want? It's kind of like your other one's chin, Nella. Which one? You want the book? Book. Or the ball? Ball. <gasps> Which one? Which one, Janella? The book? Or the ball? Which one? Book. book. Oh, good, good girl. girl. Good girl, Janella. <laughs> Hey, you know what, Navarro? I had another play right there. What if we were to use this rocking switch to put our voices on it? Like if you put your voice on one side and I put mine on the other, and then that way, you know how we tuck them in at night and yeah. she can choose? Great. I think that's wonderful. I would put um, your pictures, your photographs with your voices okay. so that she has the visual as well as the auditory so that she can start making the connection that that voice goes with that face. Right. And since it's so easy to program, you can use it for just about anything. So it really is a great aspect when uh, uh, you have a therapist that is flexible with the family's hours, what, what best meets their schedule, um, the flexibility involved, 
um, as well as um, going at the child's pace. We base our work on the family's priorities and come up with ideas to help address what's important to them. And what's really exciting is to see how they take those ideas, expand upon them, and incorporate them into other parts of their lives, which make them more meanningful. Which one? Which one? With mommy? We wanted our daughter to make choices, and that's what I appreciate about the in-home services, and that's what she's doing. She is making choices for herself. She's thinking for herself. She becomes happy, and then she can progress even further.